Well, I thought I'd take a ride today and uh, get a picture of a landmark with my motorcycle in front of it. Well, you might ask, what's a landmark? Why am I doing this? Well, I'll tell you right after this. These landmarks that I'm going to position my motorcycle in front of and take a picture of are for a charity uh, ride. The ride lasts all year long and the more pictures you get of your motorcycle in front of different landmarks, the more chances you have of winning. And of course, uh, a good portion of the proceeds from this event goes to our charity. So what they've done is they've organized um, this landmark ride event. It lasts from spring until fall. The winners are selected in the fall, so you have all season long to collect your pictures. And there's a list of 20 different landmarks to get your uh, pictures taken at. So what we've got this year is a collection of a lot of different types of landmarks. In the past, when we've had these uh, events, some of the uh, landmarks were uh, a theme, and the theme was like all old fire, uh, fire stations. Uh, and then also another year was um, lighthouses, and Michigan has a lot of lighthouses. So I said fire station and lighthouses and also old train stations. There was a network of uh, train system that was in Michigan and went through a lot of small towns and that supported the small towns. And there's these, uh, the buildings are still there. They might not be used as train stations anymore. So this year, it's a, I, I believe there is a lighthouse. Uh, there's a couple restaurants. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, there's a waterfall. Uh, today, uh, it's gonna be a waterfall and a restaurant in two small towns. A lot of these, uh, these sites, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll show, uh, I'll show you kind of how they're spread out over Michigan. I'll show that uh, right up here. Or right up here I'm not sure um, yeah so we've got 20 of them and they're spread out all over Michigan some of them are uh, close to home and we did that this year because a lot of the uh, Indian uh, motorcycle riding group that I belong to they do, they're not big on overnight travel and stuff like that so I've done them kind of uh, closer to home just so that they get one or two pictures uh, three pitchers. Uh, if you get five pitchers, you get a bonus uh, of one. So if you're ambitious and you get all 20 of them, your name goes in a hat 24 times. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so you've got a real good chance of winning. So it's, it basically gives you an opportunity to get out and ride. Uh, a lot of times I know it's a beautiful day. And I say to myself, let's go for a ride, but I don't know where to go because I've been everywhere, every, you know, in the last couple of decades riding around Michigan. But it gives me a reason to get out on the road and go somewhere. I'm trying a new rig today. This one here uh, is, I'm using my 360 camera, but I've just got it showing the front face here. And I'm using a the uh, Rode Wireless, uh, it's way back in my helmet here, um, and I've got the uh, one plugged in the side of the uh, 360 camera. So, uh, it's a beautiful day by the way, 70, 72, and for Michigan, it's about time.
Okay, hopefully I've got this thing set up right. Uh, off to the left is Orchard Lake. If anyone's from Michigan, I kind of know where Orchard Lake is. It's a pretty nice lake if you... Everyone knows where Detroit is, if you're not from Michigan. But we'll take a little shortcut through here. Yeah, um, Orchard Lake is about oh, 20 miles north of Detroit. All right, so uh, we'll make a turn up here. I love this lake here because it's got this big island right in the middle. I don't know who owns that island out there, but uh, I've sailed a uh, catamaran around that. It's uh, a lot of fun. Um, get a nasty wind shadow on one side, but shadow, uh, but yeah, that's all right. Okay, so let's, uh, let's cruise on down this way. So this area here that I'm riding through, there's a big lake, you can't probably see it on camera, but right over on this side too, right behind these homes, and then you got the lake here. There's, uh, I don't know, hundreds of lakes in this area. It's actually called Waterford area, Waterford Township or something like that. And there's lakes everywhere. Now I've flown over this uh, area in uh, some small plains and uh, you just wouldn't believe how many lakes are out here. Uh, the one over on the right has a state park on it, and that's called Cass Lake. That's really a nice lake. Where I'm uh, headed is Milford, so on my way to Milford, uh, I'll pass a few more lakes. I actually passed a couple off camera I'm a, as I was entering into the Waterford area. Uh, and you can see over here on my left, um, I think we're just leaving the lake area. Yeah, oh, there's another little lake of it, er, area coming in here. That's kind of nice. Pay attention around these curves here. Nice curvy road. Okay, so we're entering uh, Milford area. Nice little town. Some old homes here and some uh, refurbished ones. Yeah. I kind of like this town. Uh, there's, uh, there's several of them uh, in Michigan. Oh, more than several that uh, are coming back really strong. A lot of money's coming back into the area. Uh, economy's really good. And uh, you see a lot of homes uh, that uh, are doing really well. And uh, towns are doing well. Storefronts are all filled. Uh, so we're coming into uh, the downtown area of Milford. Um, not going down the main strip. The main strip runs uh, this way. And we're going down over a hill here, and we're going behind a few of uh, these uh, stores. And there's a creek that runs through here, or a river, a little river. And it's on my left here, right over here. And it's being fed by a spillway. Uh, well, it's not a spillway. What is it? It would be like a reservoir, and and it's uh, fed by this little waterfall that I'm going to park in front of, and that's right over here on my left. So there it is, right there. You can see it pretty good. Let me turn my blinker off. Turn the motor off. All right. So we've got a picture of one of the landmarks. The next landmark is going to be in Holly, Michigan. And uh, 
So we're just heading uh, north from Milford, and we're going to ride our way up uh, this rural road until we get up to uh, Holly. Holly's a neat little town, too. And let's see, this landmark, I believe, is uh, a restaurant. So some of our destinations are restaurants, so that people can just uh, go for a ride and have lunch. Uh, I'm not going to do that today, but that's what some people can do. So that's what some of these uh, destinations, uh, being uh, restaurants, uh, turn out to be a nice uh, go-to, have lunch, and ride home. Uh, a very nice ride. Let's see. I know it's a little one. Now this uh, place has got a cute little old uh, uh, train station. Let's see, is this it right here, Andy's? I think it's this one right here, Andy's. Okay. All right, let's see how I can turn around here. All right, there's Andy's. This might be a good spot right here. I want to be able to get that sign in the picture. Yeah, I'll, we'll try this. Okay. Um, I'm going to end the video right here. And uh, we'll get out. We'll be taking... Uh, it's the beginning of the summer. You know, we've got the whole summer to do this all the way until the fall. Uh, we've got all kinds of rides. We've got some overnighters that we're going to do to the West Coast. We're going to get a few pictures there. We also have a weekend uh, one up by the Upper Peninsula in Mackinac. Uh, there's a rally up there, so there's a couple up in that area we're going to get pictures of. One of them is called, uh, what's it called? Picture Rock? So I can't, it's a, a tourist trap kind of place. Uh, that's just over the bridge in the uh, Upper Peninsula. And then there's a real cool restaurant called Lakes Inn. I believe that's another one. That's by the Tunnel of Trees. So we'll get those pictures too. But uh, it's going to take our ride home. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, low 80s. I think uh, it says 82 degrees. So beautiful day. Until next time.